Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Lesson 11.8, Estimate Volume. Our essential question is how can you use an everyday object to estimate the volume of a rectangular prism? Let's go ahead and turn on our Go Math book to 11.8 and we'll begin. All right, even though you see the answers on the lines here, I do want to go over this with you so you can see what our goal for today and what we're actually talking about. Let's go ahead and read what it says. It says, as the volume of a package of paper is 200 cubic inches. What that means is each one of these little packs of paper that you see here already has a volume done for you. It's saying that each one of these little packs is 200 cubic inches. Now, we want to find the volume of the whole larger box. Now, if we already know that each one of these packs is 200 cubic inches, our goal is to see how many cubic inches are in the entire large box. So we want to find the volume of the whole large box. Now, I can see that my dimensions show two packs by, look at my length for each cube, is going to be two by, look at my height, I have two going up. Do you see how we have two by two by two? Well, I know 2 times 2 times 2 would equal 8. So I know that there are 8 packs of paper in this large box. So let's look and see. Each package of paper has a volume of 200 cubic inches, and there are 8 packages of paper in the larger box. So the volume of the large box is about 8 times 200 or 1,600 cubic inches. Now the way that we got 1,600 is because we already knew the volume of each of the small packs of paper is 200 cubic inches. And so we have eight of them, so it would be eight times 200. All right, so let's move on and let's do some other examples. Now what we know for this next one is it says that the volume of a rice box is 500 cubic centimeters. We're talking about each one of these individual small rice boxes. Since we already know that each of those small rice boxes is 500 cubic centimeters, our goal is to figure out, well, how many boxes are in this large crate? So, let's find our formula. Length times width times height. I can see I have two on my length, boxes of rice. I can see I have two deep, which will be wide. And then I can see if I count up my height, I have a row of one, two, three, four boxes of rice will be my height. So length times width times height, which would be four. So now I can just multiply across. I'm going to use the associative property of two times two and group my two and two together to get four. Bring down my other four. So I have 16 boxes of rice in this larger crate. Now, let's go back to what we know. The volume of one of those boxes is 500 cubic centimeters. So my equation is if I know that each one of these is 500 cubic centimeters, we want to find the whole volume for the entire crate or the larger box. So my equation would be what we know. There's 16 boxes times the 500 cubic centimeters. This will be my equation to find the volume of the large box. So what I need you to do now is pause your video and I want you to solve 500 times 16 on your own and we'll check together and see if we have the same answer. Okay, as I took the time to multiply 500 times 16, and I hope that you did as well, you should have said that 500 times 16 would equal 8,000 and we are talking about cubic centimeters. So we'd have cubic centimeters. So your volume would be 8,000 cubic centimeters. Let's use the same strategy for this example. What we know is this. We know the volume of a tea box is 40 cubic inches. So each one of these little small tea boxes is 40 cubic inches. We have to determine how many little boxes of tea is in this gigantic large box. So use your formula. Length times width times your height. Notice how I put 2 times 5 times 5. 
So that would be my length times width times height. Pause the video and find how many tea boxes are in this large box. Go ahead and press pause now. All right, when I did two times five, I got 10. And then I did 10 times my five height and I got 50 tea boxes. Now we have to go back to what we know. We know that each one of these little tea boxes is 40 cubic inches inside. That's the volume. But we know we have 50 of them fitting inside this large crate. So our equation should be 40 times 50. Go ahead, press pause to find the volume of the entire larger box. Okay, for this one you should have said that the volume of the larger box would be 2,000 cubic inches. Okay, for number four, I want you to attempt this one all by yourself. All right, go ahead and press pause and then we'll check together. Okay, for this one, we do know that each of those little DVD cases is 20 cubic inches and I know that I have four as my length, I have three as my width. Now this one's a little trickier because you can still see this little small portion. One, two, three is my width and my height will be four. So my equation you should have had was four times three times four. Now I'm gonna use my associated property in group four times three, and I know that would be 12, and bring down my times four. Did you get 48 boxes of DVDs? You should have said there were 48 DVD boxes inside this larger box. Now what we know is this. Each of those DVDs has the volume of 20 cubic inches. So if you have 48 boxes and each one's 20 cubic inches, your equation should be 48 times 20. Now, did you work this one out on your own? If you didn't, pause now. If you did, go ahead and check with me. All right, for this one, I'm gonna do my little zero trick and drop down my zero ones, and I'm gonna multiply my two tens. Two tens times eight would be 16. Two times four is eight plus one more, it would be nine. So you should have said it was 960 cubic inches. I do hope that we both have the same answer. All right, again, I really want you to do this on your own for the best practice that you can get. So go ahead and let's read number five. Theo fills a large box with boxes of staples. The volume of each box of staples is 120 cubic centimeters. So that's the volume of each one of these individual boxes. Estimate the volume of the large box. Well, what we know is each one that is small is 120 cubic centimeters, but we want to find the whole volume. So do what you know, your length, times width times height to find how many staple boxes are in the larger crate. Go ahead and press pause now to find that volume. And then if you wanna to continue to find the total volume, go ahead and find that answer as well. And we'll check back together. Press pause now. Okay, for your length you should have said three, your width you should have said five, and your height you could have said two. And that would give me 15, times two, which would give me 30 staple boxes. Now we do know that each of the volume of each of those staple boxes is 120 cubic centimeters. So now our equation would be 120 times my 30 boxes. If you haven't found this volume yet, go ahead and press pause. If you already found it, you should have done this. Let's check together. 120 times 30. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and use my trick that I've taught you with my zero rule. We're gonna drop our two zeros down, and now let's just multiply my three tens by my 12 groups of tens that you see up above. All right, three times two is six, and three times one is one. All right, did you get the answer of 3,600? If you did, you should have 3,600 cubic centimeters. Okay, and if you want to try this last one on your own to be an expert at this, go ahead, or you may work it out along with me. It says this, Lisa uses pudding boxes to estimate the volume of the box below. The volume of each pudding box is 150 cubic inches. That's the volume of each one of these individual pudding boxes. We want to estimate the volume of the larger box. Remember step one? We're going to find the volume of the larger box by first of all finding out how many pudding boxes there are. I know my formula is length times width 
times height. So I see that my length could be 2, my width can be 5, and my height can be 4. Now I'm going to use the associative property and do 2 times 5, which is 10, and 10 times 4 is in fact 40. There are 40 boxes of pudding inside this larger crate. Now, I know up here that it says the volume of each pudding box is 150 cubic inches. Therefore, my new equation is 150 times 40. If you want to practice your multiplication and pause the video, you can do that now. All right, let's go ahead and check it together. You should have dropped down your two zeros, and I can say now 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 more would be 6. And I have 6,000 cubic inches in this gigantic box. 6,000 cubic inches of pudding. Now that is a lot of pudding. Okay, your homework tonight is to answer questions 1 and 2 on your own. Use the formula that I've taught you and then do questions three through six for your spiral review of what we've learned throughout this year. Don't forget to assess yourself, level one novice, two apprentice, three practitioner, four expert. And we will practice this some more tomorrow to get to become experts in this tomorrow in class. Have a great night, bye-bye.